up guys so I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to download images from an Instagram profile using Python we're going to use a Python module that somebody else had written and we're just going to write a simple Python script that utilizes that module so uh, let's get started with first talking about Python I got Python 3.12 uh, dot two or something installed something like that it's a fresh brand new install um, and so if you type in like Python from your prompt it should tell you the version 3.12.2. Now, if you type in Python 3, in some cases, this will actually work for you. It just depends, I guess, if you already had Python 2 installed, I think. Um, also, a thing to note here that's really annoying to me is that if you type in Python from the command, Python 3 from the command prompt, and you didn't have it installed, it would actually open Windows Store, confusing you thinking that maybe you, need, you didn't install Python. So I installed Python straight from their website. Um, and then if I typed Python 3, it would open, it would actually open up store. So what I would recommend you do is you go to app, um, app, manage app execution aliases. And if you come here, you can disable these. So basically if you enable these, then it's going to go app install and open the windows store, which is annoying. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and just uncheck these things because if I want to go to the store, I'll go to the store. I don't, don't, I don't need the assistance. Like if I type it, just tell me it doesn't exist and I'll go figure it out. So, um, so anyhow, that's a quick little tidbit there. Um, okay, let's get started on the script piece. So I've got Python 3 installed, so I'm just going to reference it as Python. I've also got pip installed because pip came with Python and it's a Python package installer. So you can type pip or pip3 um, and you can see like if I say pip version, I think. Nope, maybe dash dash version. It'll tell me which pip I've got. There you go. Perfect. So we want to uh, install the InstaLoader module. So the URL for this site is right here. Let me put it in, in the browser. So if you go to this website, you can see this called the InstaLoader. I'm sure that you have Python and pip installed. So it's really easy to do. You literally are just going to type in this command to get the module installed. So we'll go ahead and copy paste that and put it in. Shouldn't take too long to install. And then um, we're going to use, we're going to create a new Python script. It's going to be really simple. There's a couple ways you can do this. One, you can apparently run it from the command line. So if you see like command line options, you can run it that way. I'm going to do it from PowerShell script instead. And so as soon as it's done, actually, we can go ahead and just start that, I guess. If we right click here and you say new file, and we want to say, um, I'm going to call it download ig, ig uh, geekhead gh.py. So now it's a Python file, and we're going to just say import. And this is all on his page, too, or whoever wrote it. So import install loader, because we've already did the pip part for that, right? So if you want, you can put it in the comments so that you remember how you got it. And then we're going to say ig loader equals insta loader dot insta loader. So instantiate an insta loader method. And uh, the next thing we want to do is really just the download part. I mean, this is it's super easy. So there's a there are this is apparently a deprecated um, method. Uh, however, it still works, and it's the easiest way to do it. So you just type in the username of the profile that you want to download, and that's basically it. I know that sounds totally crazy that it's that simple, but it, it, it really is that simple. So we're going to go ahead and um, run this script and see if it actually works. And so if I go to code, dr, you can see my script. So if I type in Python download ig geekhead, and let's see if it actually runs. Look at that. So I've got 25 photos. It's going to download all the photos from that profile. So basically everything here. 25 posts. Download 25 posts. It also downloads additional like metadata. So it's going to download, I think, in the JSON, it'll download like the description and title and stuff. And... Um, the other nice part is that it keeps it keeps a, a cache of it too. So I'll, as soon as this is done downloading, I'll show you. I'll go ahead and download, run it again, and you'll see that it um, 
won't download the 25 again because it's already been downloaded. So it's only going to download what what's new. So if someone were to make an additional new post, you would get be able to download that in new post. The other cool thing is that it does download the image at the full res. And so um, better than what you can sometimes see in here. Um, so anyhow, there you go. So it's done. So if I do a DIR, you can see that it actually created a folder called its geekhead and then all the files are in there. If I run it again, it should tell me that everything's the same. And it'll be, it has to iterate through all of them, so it's checking. But you can see it didn't download as much faster. So now if I go to its geekhead and I say start dot, it should open a Windows Explorer window for that folder. And you can see all the pictures here and the videos. So if we go ahead and say large icons, there you go. So if you were to open up one of these, um, it should be full res capability or at least as high as it was posted on Instagram as. So you can see the details pretty good. Exactly what you would expect. So there you have it. Um, and then say, let's also open the associated text file. Uh, let's just open it with Notepad. <clears throat> and you can see that's that must have been the, the comment line, or was it the tags only? No, it's, the, it's literally a description of the the post itself so you get the content of the post as well as the image and it's uh, all full res again so it's pretty cool you can see that there you go that's the full res image right there yep so it's basically that easy to download uh, instagram posts on public profiles using this insta loader it's pretty impressive so i hope that was useful for you guys see you on the next one